Okay, I'm going to be demonstrating borrowing um, with blocks, and this goes along with the video um, that was done on the board with just numbers. But um, in this instance, I'm gonna show you what borrowing actually looks like and what's happening when we have to borrow in subtraction. So over here we have the problem 182 minus 56. Okay, we know that we can do this problem because the bottom number is smaller than the, big, uh, the top number. So let's look, we have our ones place, we have two ones, tens place, we should have eight tens. And if you notice, a ten stick has ten little ones that look like these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one hundred. So there's a hundred little squares in here. So that's a hundred. Okay, so we are going to start in our ones place as always and we're gonna try and take away six. Well wait a minute, if I only have two, I can't take six away. But I know that I can borrow some from the other numbers. So let's look. I have two, I wanna take away six. I'm gonna go next door to my tens column. And you always start by going right next door. So for example, if you wanted to borrow a cup of sugar, you're not gonna go all the way down the street, first you're gonna try the next door neighbor, right? So we're gonna to go to the next door neighbor, the tens place, and ask for a ten stick. So I'm gonna take a ten stick, and I'm going to give it to the ones place. Now, this means that I no longer have eight tens. Oh, get that cap off. I now only have seven tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. And this 10 stick plus my two makes 12, so I have enough. So we're actually going to change our number to 12, okay. Now can I do my problem? Can I take six away? Well, yes I can, but I'd have to break this up. So instead I'm gonna swap that out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is just like my ten stick except it's broken up so that I can actually take away. So I still have twelve. So I'm now going to take my six away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I took six away from there. Okay, so I did that subtraction. So, oops. 12 minus six is six, does that make sense? Do I have six here? One, two, three, four, five, six, yes I do. So I'm done with that column. Let's go to the tens column. Tens column, so I have seven. And how much am I taking away? Five, okay, I have enough that I can take away five. One, two, three, four, five. Get those out of here, okay. Seven minus five we know is two. Okay, and that's right, I have two tens left. Perfect. Okay, and then I have 100, and I'm taking away nothing, so my 100 stays. So my answer is 126. Let's see if that matches up. 100, two tens, six ones. 